Get ready, everyone. All-Star action is coming your way. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. <laughs> this place is going to go crazy. Next up is the three-point contest for tonight. One NBA sharpshooter will add his name to a trophy that contains a who's who of the best long-range bombers in league history. This is all about concentration, guys. Steve can attest to that. You get on a roll, lock into that rhythm. That's what you try to do here. No question, Clark. And, and the crowd is behind you. You know, the fans are watching on TV. It's really a different environment than a game. Uh, but if you can find the groove, find your rhythm, it really is a fun event and uh, a champ. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. He has 60 seconds to make as many shots from behind the arc as he can. Clark, as you know, there's a money ball in each of the five racks worth double. That's 25 shots to get a maximum of 30. And the corner threes are only 22 feet, but the other three-point stations are 23 feet 9 inches. So those are the longest shots. And to me, the, the corner shot is the easiest of any of them. So it's important to get off to a quick start here uh, from that corner spot, maybe get five or six quick points. Now nine points. Money ball, no good. He's got 10. 11 points. That gives him 12. Down to the final rack. Good for 13. And 13 is the final score. I'd say a solid showing from him. I thought he had his stroke working pretty well for him. I mean, what do you think about that, Steve? Yeah, solid shooting. He looked very confident. You know, it never became one of those lights out rounds that it could have been. Uh, but all in all, I think he's got to be pretty happy. From the very first year it took place, the three-point contest has been so much fun. Larry Bird won the first three in a row, a few of them in dramatic fashion. And that was one of the things that made it special right away, having one of the all-time legends putting his stamp on the shootout immediately. Pretty good start there for him. He's got nine. Up to ten now. Just two points there. He won't be happy with that. Not good. Off the mark with five in a row now. He's missed six straight. He doesn't look comfortable. Eleven on the board. He's got 12 points to show for his efforts there. Well, I, I didn't expect that score to be as low as it was. What about you guys? Yeah, he was totally inconsistent out there. You know, we always talk about guys getting into a rhythm in this event, and he just never was able to do that. And so here's Curry now. You look at the numbers through the first part of his career. I mean, there's a legitimate case that Steph Curry will go down as maybe the best shooter in the history of the NBA. Well, like they say, Steve, and it's true, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So it's essential that a player keeps a fast pace and gets to all 25 balls before the buzzer. Yeah, and it's really a balance, Clark, because you can't race through them either. If you do, you're going to fall out of your rhythm. So it's a fine line between being focused and being quick. You've got to find that balance. Oh, ooh. Now with 11. A three-point lack for him right there. Curry really catching fire now. He's in the zone. Matches the best score right there. And that is the best score of the qualifying round. He finds himself at 16 points at the end of the round. I'd say a solid showing from him. Yeah, it was a great finish to the round for him. He just got better and better as it went along. So it's Nick Young ready to go. So to stay in it, he needs at least 12 points. It's a matter of him just knocking down a few of the money balls. Um, I don't think it'll take much else. He needs eight points more. He's got five. Can't get the money ball. Six more points to stick around. That's seven. Drains the money ball. He needs three more points. He's got ten. Only man to sink one there. One more to stay alive. He's got 12. He finishes with 14 points on the board. 
He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? I thought he had his stroke working pretty well for him. I mean, what do you think about that, Steve? Yeah, solid shooting. He looked very confident. You know, it never became one of those lights out rounds that it could have been. Uh, but all in all, I think he's got to be pretty happy. And he needs at least 14 here to remain in contention. Yeah, he's got it in him. I mean, it's going to require a pretty good effort out of him, but uh, it's right there for him. He needs eight points more to stay in contention. Money ball, no good. Seven points more to stay alive. Now eight points. He's got nine. Two racks to go. Two more to stay in it. That's four in a row now. That one ties him up for third. One rack left. Tied for second. He averages three points a rack and finishes with 15. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. Yeah, even if he didn't set things completely on fire, it's still a fine score. I mean, what did you take away from it, Steve? Well, I, you know, it wasn't his best, but he gutted out a pretty decent round when he didn't have his best stuff, and that's the sign of an excellent shooter there. He's in a good spot getting to go last. It's no mystery how many points he needs to move on. He needs at least 15 here to stay alive. And he knows he can get this well within his abilities. Yeah, it's been a bumpy start. Rough going so far. Bad news right there. Off the mark with five in a row now. Starting to freeze up a bit. The wheels are coming off. at seven straight misses. Cannot afford a lapse in concentration now. He's got to finish strong. Well, guys, that's it. He's out of it. He can't make up the difference, Clark, at this time. Nope, too far behind, but he'll finish up anyway. Yeah, he made a good effort. Tried to get into his group, but just couldn't get anything as far as momentum is concerned. He registers only five points. Something went terribly wrong out there, guys, with him in that round. You know, he clanged seven in a row in that round. You just can't afford a missed streak like that in this contest. There's just not time to make it up. Curry's got one of the best scores in round one, a serious contender. Quite honestly, I think the final round is wide open. I mean, we've got a bunch of great shooters moving on. Yeah, we sure do, and I can't pick a favorite here, Clark. I think everybody's in the mix right now. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. He had the lowest score of all the qualifiers, so he goes first. Let's see if he can kick it up a few notches. Seven points. Eight points. Can't get the money ball. He's got nine. Up to ten now. One rack left. That's four misses in a row. Eleven on the board. He comes away with 11 points. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. Yeah, he might not get an invite back for next year's contest after that showing. Well, one bad round doesn't mean he doesn't deserve to be here, but there's no question, watching that performance, he did not look suited to the format of this contest. You know, it means so much to get off to a fast start in this competition. More often than not, as the first few racks go, so go the rest. Yeah, it's a weird competition, Clark, because the guys are not used to doing this during the season, taking so many shots in such a little time. Uh, so the quick start is imperative for your confidence and for your rhythm. He's got to speed up. Clock's ticking. Now eight points. Three points more to tie it. Gets the money ball. One more to tie. Now with 11. Got it, taking the lead in his final round. He will be the one to beat. And that's a great position to be in, Parker. Yeah, well, he's really feeling good right now. A ton of confidence. He's got 12 points to show for his efforts there. There was just something off about him in that round. Yeah, you know, in this format, once it goes wrong, sometimes the harder a player tries, the worse it gets. And you only have a few seconds to correct it, and it can get away from you quick. 
Yeah, and that's what makes it so difficult, Clark, because as you said, the time constraints start to play on your mind. You know, you, you hear that clock ticking in your head, and you force it. And when you force it, there's no way you're going to get into a good groove. And so we'll see Stephen Curry. Well, back to Curry. What is crazy is that he puts up all that he does while being one of the few who can shoot off the dribble. You know, most other guys, Clark at his level, are, are catch-and-shoot guys. No, he's remarkable with his ability to shoot it off the bounce. Just a really pure stroke. One of the purest in the history of the league, in my opinion. 13 points, the threshold for the win. 14 points is his total as the round comes to a close. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. There were a few ups and downs, but overall it turned out to be a fairly decent round. Yeah, I'd give him kind of a B plus for that one. You know, you hope for more, but uh, it probably lived up to a reasonable expectation for him. And that brings the three-point contest to a close. Coming out on top of the kind of field we had here tonight says so much about our champion this year. Now, how much fun was that? That could be the highlight of this year's All-Star festivities, guys. Well, for me, Clark, the three-point contest usually is. I was just happy to have a ringside seat for it. And the drama, the excitement, this year's three-point contest had it all. And it was our pleasure to bring it to you. For myself, Kevin Harlan, and my partners, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, thank you, everyone, and good night.